Hi, my name is Greg. Welcome to the live stream. Today, we're going to discuss how to create a building inventory. A lot of people, even us growing up, um, didn't really understand why we needed a building inventory. We could just go and basically look at a building and tell them, hey, this is how much it costs. Well, as things got bigger, as you know, life changed, we decided, hey, we need to know exactly where we're at, what building, how big it is, everything. So what is a building inventory? Um, easy way to say it's a complete assessment of the entire square footage of a, of a building or a location. So even if it's a small suite, it's complete square footage. This includes like, not just, okay, it's 10,000 square feet because the customer said it was. This is something where you're going in and actually breaking it apart and saying, carpets this much, tiles this much, and fixtures, carpet, tile, restroom fixtures, toilets, everything, dispensers. It's it's really the start of a relationship with a customer. You probably know we use HubSpot. And what this does is if I click on this, I'll have a link to my building inventory, but then I'll also have a bunch of other things that I have important. First thing, um, in addition to the building inventory, I require a photo of the emergency evacuation map. Now, it's the law anywhere that has employees that they have to have an emergency evacuation map. That's that little map that shows your office and says, if my building caught on fire, how do I get out? Amazing, right? So basically what you're doing is you have a blueprint. So what I do is go around and I'll have the sales rep or myself, I'll shoot a picture of that with my phone. I've got the picture. Now, what does that do? Well, that tells me as an operations person or a sales manager that these inventory sheets, this measurements either right or wrong. If I go in there and I see on that emergency evacuation that there's eight bathrooms and I look in here and says there's only two, more than likely, so I need to make a phone call and say, do I need to clean these other you know, six or eight? What do I need to do? So that's the number one thing I have to have. And it also shows me my way to get in and out of a building, the ins and outs if it's a multi-tenant. So that's, that's the first thing I have to have. Now, there have been times that they missed complete areas or you have a building inventory and they're like, well, I don't, you don't, don't clean the warehouse. That's where that picture again is very valuable to me because then I can go in there and say, look, we're not cleaning any of this area that I'll paint a different color to my team that's operationally on the floor doing the cleaning and they know. So that way, if I go in and they're like, no, 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 I need you guys to come over here and be like, oh, hold on. You know, when we got this sale, it didn't say that. So again, that emergency evacuation map, very important. They got to have one. So if you have a sales rep, so oh, they don't have one. They got one somewhere. So now photos, we get into pictures. What other stuff do I need that's going to help me aid that? So I need pictures that, first of all, is the main entrance of the building. Think of it as you have 30 employees and they're all over the county. And if you could get them a picture, like, okay, that's the correct. That's the right building. Yes, that's the address. That's what it looks like. It saves a lot of time and we also use it for us on our HubSpot. We'll put it in there as their like little address and it has a place where you can put a photo like your picture, but we put a picture of their building. That helps us, it helps our floor care guys, it helps everybody be like, okay, that's the logo, I get it, I know where we're going. Very important. Now, besides that photo, what do I need? I need customer's contact info if the sales rep hasn't given it. That stuff's usually all already done. So you shouldn't have to worry about that. But what I am looking for is pictures of the carpet, pictures of the tile in the bathrooms, pictures of the VCT in the break rooms. What does it look like right now? So if I walk in and say, oh, wow, this carpet is thrashed. I should know before I'm walking in. Or, you know what, this, this VCT needs to be stripped. I'll know that by looking at the photos. So not just, oh, it's carpet, Greg, by putting it in here. What's the condition of the carpet? Is it a special kind of carpet? Is it a wool carpet that's going to shrink if my guys go in there and clean it with hot water? All that kind of stuff is stuff that we require. It's not like, oh, well, if you can get it, Mr. Sales Rep, that's cool. No, we require it. If we don't have it, we'll go back and get it. So I'll send my ops guy out and be like, hey, I need pictures of the carpet and stuff like that. I didn't get it from sales. But usually that doesn't happen here, but it, it used to in the past. Um, photos of the soap, paper towels, seat cover dispensers. So I need to make sure I have a, at least photos of, if usually it's universal, so if it's in one place, I mean it's in everywhere in the building. So I'm gonna need a picture of the soap dispensers, which is gonna tell me what kind of soap, what kind of key do I need, 
Do I need to, oh, how do I open them up? Um, any, do I need to have some training on how to put batteries in? That stuff's very valuable to me. Um, toilet paper dispensers, do I, again, do I need a key? Is it a Bobrick, is it a Bradley? Um, am I gonna have a problem? And then seat covers. I know people are like, well, seat covers are easy. They're all the same. They're actually not. KC makes a personal seat cover that has a little handle you squish up and down and it sends one at a time. So that requires some training on installation and it requires a different order form when we order the paper. So that stuff there is really critical to us because what are you getting complaints on the first night of service? No paper towel, no soap, no seat covers, right? So those three things I need to get ahead of. If they're, well, well there's, there's toilet paper, but it's sitting on top of the dispenser. It's a bad look. Let's get, let's get those three things and I need to have those pictures by the sales guy and just one, one little quick photo. Um, and then photos of the access door. Now imagine this, you're working with a customer and they're talking to you about the access door. Oh wow, you know, you're, this is your first visit. It's, it's making them more comfortable. Like this guy knows what he's talking about. The last guy didn't ask me anything. You know, he didn't do any measurements. He didn't take any pictures. He didn't ask me, okay, what's up with this carpet? Is it wool? All he did was say, it'll be 500 bucks a month and I'll catch you later. And so by you asking like, hey, where's the alarm code? Or where's the alarm, not code, he's not gonna give you the code yet, but where's the key panel? And you're taking a picture, that's enabling me on my side to say, hey guys, is everyone here, all my managers, you understand how to turn this alarm off? You don't understand how to turn it off? No, I don't. So I'll shoot them a quick video. I'll go on YouTube and, and share the link. There's a lot of things out there that, you know, in hindsight, building this backwards, let's say, Imagine you're going into a building and they, you, you don't do any of the soap sensor pictures. You don't do any of this stuff. So they walk in and they don't have soap, toilet paper, paper towels. And then you left the door, the alarm unlocked, unarmed, or you turn the alarm off in the middle of the night on your first day. Not a good start. So that kind of stuff, that training that needs to be worked in before we start is very valuable. And again, it starts with a building inventory. So this is an inventory sheet.